Remember, that's the outermost of Saturn's three main rings. One of the first surprises awaiting scientists was the discovery of four faint, oddly shaped streaks. These streaks appeared double-lobed and resembled airplane propellers, which is how they got their nickname, propellers. It didn't take long for scientists to realize they were looking at indirect evidence of tiny moonlets embedded in the ring plane. These little moons, roughly 100 meters across on average, are too small to be imaged directly, but the trails they leave behind give them away. Despite the name, these structures don't spin like an aircraft propeller. They always point in the same direction as the moonlet moves through the ring. Their strange shape might seem hard to grasp at first, especially when viewed in schematic form, but it's actually something we can understand. Again, remember, ring particles orbit at different angular speeds depending on how far they are from Saturn. The inner parts of the rings rotate faster than the outer parts. So around a tiny moonlet in the rings, some particles will be moving faster and some slower. Specifically, particles on the moonlet's left, closer to Saturn, move faster and overtake it, while those on the right, further out, lag behind. From the moonlet's own frame of reference, the particles on the left appear to move forward, and those on the right seem to fall back, even though all particles are technically orbiting in the same direction around Saturn. This differential motion explains why the moonlet's gravitational effect stretches in both directions, forming the distinctive two-lobed shape of the propeller. Of course, these moonlets are far too small to carve out full gaps in the rings like Pan does. Instead, they simply disturb the surrounding material, creating this curious pattern.